Welcome to our Twinkly Home Lights and Controller Setup video. Before going into the setup process, let's look at how to do a factory reset. A factory reset should be used if you've already attempted to set up the controller and it did not work properly, or if it's been previously set up and you're wanting to create an entirely new setup. To do a factory reset, first, unplug your lights. Hold down the button on the controller and plug your lights back in. Continue holding the button down until the lights go solid red and the light on the controller stops blinking. Then release it. The lights will turn back on in color to signify a successful factory reset. To connect your lights to Wi-Fi, first download the Twinkly app from the App Store and create an account. Make sure you are connected to your home or office Wi-Fi. Once connected, open the Twinkly app. It will start searching for a device, but it won't be able to find one. This is to be expected, as it doesn't know what device to look for yet. Today, we're using a Generation 2 unit, so we'll select that device. From here, we'll hold down the button until the blinking light turns bluish-green. Then we can release it. We'll choose Home Office Wi-Fi. It'll automatically attempt to connect to what it thinks is the strongest signal, which isn't always the one we want. To select your router, just tap the network name to find your home network. Enter the password, then hit connect. On Twinkly Home, it'll take you right to where you can map the lights. We recommend testing everything out first. And sometimes, you might just want to play with the lights before setting everything up. Let's tap on Skip Setup. We can always go back and map the lights whenever we want. Now we want to make sure we have the most updated firmware. Tap the Device button. Select the gear icon to the right of the device. On the firmware line, we can see the exclamation point with the circle inside, along with the Update Firmware button near the bottom of the screen. This lets us know we can update our unit. We recommend checking back periodically to make sure you have the most up-to-date firmware on your device. At this point, you can also name your unit. This is useful, especially if you have multiple units, or if you just want to personalize it. Tap the device name and input your custom name. Now we're ready to map. To do this, tap the mapping icon. This happens to know it's a curtain. Make sure you have all the lights in frame and hit start mapping. When mapping, you want to make sure you have lower ambient light so the app can properly pick up each light. Then hit OK. The controller also features a scheduling option. Just tap the circle with a square inside. There's a timer option, an on off switch, and you can even adjust the brightness level. While the preferred way to connect is the home office Wi-Fi, you can also use the direct Wi-Fi option. Select the direct Wi-Fi connect button. The app will now show a visual tutorial on how to connect. Let's go back to our settings and select the Twinkly Wi-Fi option. We'll put in the password, Twinkly2019, with a capital T, Let's go back to our app. From here, we can change our password. Please note, you cannot save Twinkly 2019. We'll keep it simple and do Twinkly 2020 with a capital T. We'll hit return and set password. Now let's go back to our Wi-Fi settings as it's kicked us out. We'll input the new password here and hit return. Now when we go back to our app, we're in the device and we can map our lights. You're all set now to enjoy your twinkly lights.